Every year, I have the, this is probably one of the most awesome opportunities of, of my life every year. I have the opportunity to take and to lead a group of people uh, on a backpacking trip through Israel, and it's very rabbinic. It's like, I want you to know Israel when you leave Israel. I want you to have walked where Jesus walked, uphill, downhill. I want you to be dirty and have the dirt all over you. I want you to know the place, right? And toward the end of that journey, what happens is that we kind of hike into the city of Jerusalem, and we come to uh, what is now called the Western Wall. And almost every time we come to that, we walk right into a bar mitzvah. Now, I love to watch bar mitzvah take place because it's really a milestone of the Hebrew faith. And when you see a bar mitzvah, like we walk in and what you walk into is this crazy uh, party going on. Uh, you know, this language that seems familiar a little bit, but you don't really know. And all of a sudden you find yourself in the middle of people throwing candy. And on this day, that kid right there was on his dad's shoulders and everybody's around and they're throwing candy and celebrating. What happens is his dad takes him down into this area of the Western Wall and they go to a Torah closet and they, they take the scroll out and this kid, as he's becoming a man for the first time, reads his portion of the Torah assigned to him for that day. He reads the scripture, then he gives this derashah. You know, he, 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 he speaks about what he believes the scripture is saying to him. This, this kid is like 12, 13, right? That's different than uh, how we pull, pull this off in our culture and our time. But what I loved about this, you know, we, we know Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. It's ingrained in our hearts, just like it's ingrained in this man. Only he's, he's living it out to the letter of the law. I mean, you can see that he's bounded on his forehead, right? But what's better than that is that in all this pomp and circumstances, he comes to this place. It, it goes from this big party down to this moment when this man begins to pour into his son. And what he's doing is he's, he's actually impressing the commands of God on his son in a very intentional and purposeful way. So hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. These commands that I give you today, they're to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. And so when I think about a question like, what is family ministry? This is one of the pictures that goes through my mind. And this, this, this understanding of the Shema, that it all boils down to a man pouring into his son the scriptures. This understanding is the simplistic answer to the question, what is family ministry?